listening to Jamie TV. Thank you very much for watching. If you have been checking out my recent content, you will know that I've been uploading a whole bunch of videos about the excellent Four Pockets app, NewRack, because I really want people to see how awesome this app is and why I say that it is the best value for money app available in the App Store right now for making iOS music with. If you haven't seen those videos, I'll put a link here. Now, as I've been going along demonstrating the app, I've been kind of recording some music with no real plan, as is my way, and I've arrived at a point where I've got a half-finished track that's screaming out for some bass guitar. Now, when I'm going to record some bass guitar, normally New Rack wouldn't be my first most obvious app to open because there are other things that are obviously more immediately obviously suitable to recording bass guitar with. But, Following along with the workflow I outlined in this video here, what I'm doing is I'm making myself use New Rack for every instrument I put down on this track. And that way I'll learn more about the app and kind of get deeper into it, get a deeper understanding of it. Now, I've already shown you how to, basically how New Rack works, how to build a module, how to customize a module. So I'm not gonna pissy pants about with this video. It's gonna be a relatively short video for me. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna record the bass in, and while you're having a listen to it, I'm gonna put the module that I build up on the screen so that you can see what I've used. And uh, when you've checked out the video, feel free to comment down below and let me know what you thought to the sound that I got. But please do stay tuned until the end of the video because I've got something really important to say about iOS music, about the direction of this channel and about bass guitar. So, see you in a bit. So as I said earlier, please do comment below the video and let me know honestly what you thought to the sound that I got there for the bass guitar with New Rack. That module that you just saw there, by the way, will be available for download from my Patreon account, along with a bunch of other modules that I made for New Rack and a couple of guitar lessons. And there's some more iOS goodies there. There's some support materials for the bass guitar lessons I've done for YouTube and a whole bunch of stuff. And you can sign up for that for as little as a quid, a dollar, a euro, or a whatever per month. Now, moving not really very smoothly into my next point. The two things that I'm most passionate about, uh, playing bass guitar 
and playing around with iOS music apps. And I'm going to try and bring some much needed focus to this channel for a little while by combining those two things. And let me, let me tell you why. The deeper I get into iOS music stuff, the more bass players I meet who like the platform but complain that there are not enough apps specifically aimed at bass guitar. And on the surface of it, I think that's probably true. I mean, really, if you're talking about professional standard apps for bass guitar, you've got Mammoth. And that really is kind of it. So there's not a lot of choice. I mean, there are those guitar rig style apps where you kind of download your initial app and without buying any bundles you get a few amps and a few effects and all of those apps are extremely high quality although it's sad that a lot of them are still not AUV3 but it seems that in many of them you don't really get any base stuff or hardly any base stuff from the word go you have to make in-app purchases so you're kind of immediately penalized for being a bass player which doesn't really seem fair does it so I'm going to be looking deeper into this. I'm going to see what is available and I'm going to be looking at whether it's any good, what's not any good. And I want to hear from you. I need some help from you. So I want to hear about what you use. What have you used successfully? What isn't any good? Do you use any outboard gear before your interface that, that helps? Um, interfaces that are good for recording bass guitar or aren't. I want to know this stuff. Uh, do you perhaps use a chain of effects that are not really intended for recording bass guitar but work anyway? Maybe a little bit like I've just done with New Rack. All right, so I want to hear from you about all this stuff and I'm going to take it all into consideration and I'm going to look deeper into what is available for bass players on iOS and let's see what we can make of it, right? So hopefully that might be interesting to at least one or two people out there. So until I see you again, behave yourself, be good, make lots of music, don't pissy pants about, and I'll see you soon.